Locals Boxing. Jaime Munguia defeated Demetrius Ballard. He knocked him out in the third round. And he did pretty good. He looked good. However, who didn't expect this? Who really expected Jaime Munguia to lose against Demetrius Ballard? Don't get me wrong, I enjoy watching Jaime Munguia fight. He's a great fighter. He, he puts on a great show. He, he does try to knock out the other fighter usually. However, I think that Jaime Munguia's biggest challenge is actually his promoter, Oscar De La Hoya. It really seems like Oscar De La Hoya is just not willing to risk Jaime Munguia. Not willing to risk him to the point where he gives him that opportunity to grow. He's just feeding him these opponents that Jaime Munguia can just knock out without a problem. Or, you know, just for sure win, at least. Oscar de la Hoya needs to allow Jaime Munguia to fight better opposition. This is the only way Jaime Munguia will start growing and growing more as a fighter. He will get more fans. There will be more credibility to what he is capable of. Jaime Munguia looks like he has a lot of potential. Like every fighter, he needs to gain more experience. The experience he's having is very limited. If he starts getting into bigger fights with the bigger leagues, then he can gain that experience. It's okay if he doesn't look the best, you know, against premium fighters at first. It's okay, that's how he's gonna learn. I know that nowadays, for some reason, boxing is all about, you know, remaining undefeated or not having a lot of defeats on your record, but in all reality, if Jaime Munguia just keeps getting fed these, these fighters that are obviously going to lose, then, you know, he's just going to stay at that level that he's at right now. It looks like Jaime Munguia is looking for a fight against Triple G. He keeps calling him out. I actually think Triple G would be a very good challenge for Jaime Munguia. I know Triple G is, on the, is getting older. And I know that uh, Canelo's trying to make a third fight with Triple G because Canelo versus Triple G3 is going to sell. It's going to sell whether you know you like it or not. It's a big business. Really good for the business. But if eventually Munguia can get the fight, Triple G, I think that would be a very big challenge for Munguia to see where he's really at. Even though Triple G is older, he could still make a very complicated fight for uh, Munguia. You know, there was talk about him trying to work his way to fight Charlo. So hopefully that De La Hoya will allow Jaime Munguia to, you know, select better opposition. And, and it's not Jaime Munguia. He looks like he's down to fight whoever they put in front of him. Even in an interview, I saw how Oscar de la Hoya was asked if if Jaime Munguia was not interested in fighting, you know, bigger names. And Oscar de la Hoya replied by saying that it wasn't Jaime Munguia, that it was him who was keeping him from getting those big fights. You know, what, what happened to Canelo Alvarez? He, he was coming up, you know, he was becoming more and more famous getting more fans and then he got that fight against Mayweather and he obviously lost that fight but what happened after that fight he he really learned from that fight you know a lot of times fighters can learn from their defeats and they can become even better fighters they can just catapult their career after they get over that loss if Jaime Munguia were to take risk against bigger names and he were to lose in the process, it will definitely help him gain that experience and come right back up. So yeah, it was a good fight. Jaime Munguia usually gives a good fight, but we will wait to see the day where 
he finally gets the green light to be able to fight a, a bigger opposition to the point where you're not quite sure who's going to win. Where even if you're rooting for Munguia, you know that there's a strong possibility he'll lose. Those types of fights are the best fights. Those are the fights that will, you know, cement his legacy. I won't hold my breath on it because De La Hoya is known to use this tactic on different fighters where he just, you know, just keeps them fighting basic fighters, making them look better than they are for some time. And, you know, let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Locals Boxing.